Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have a video for my February 2023 TBR, my to-be-read list. Um, I've got books from a variety of genres here, and I'm very excited to get into all of them. Um, I have three new releases this month, quite a, quite a few new releases, and then I have seven books that are, you know, older books uh, to read, and I'm actually genuinely excited for all of these. Uh, so well, let's see what I have. So the first new release book I have is Of Wizards and Wolves, uh, a David Farland memorial anthology. Uh, being released in February 2023. This is edited by Lisa Mangum, and this is a, uh, from what I understand, an anthology of short stories that were all by writers who were inspired by David Farland, or were friends with him, or liked his works, or the either it's uh, inspired by him or inspired by his works, that type of thing. And so that is coming out soon. They're actually releasing it in hardcover, trade paperback, and also on an uh, ebook. And so I'm getting the hardcover, and I've already placed my pre order, so I'm looking forward to reading that when it comes out. I'm not a huge short story collection fan, but I f am excited to read this book because I think it'll be lots of fun to read. Um, speaking of which, the second uh, book on my list is also not a book I'm not normally. Uh, excited to read, but I am this time. And this is the Star Wars Battle of Jeddah uh, audio drama. Uh, the the actual audio drama itself released in January, but the actual physical copy, the script for it, uh, releases in February. And uh, even though this book will be massive in size, it'll actually be a really quick read, one of the quickest reads, because it's just dialogue script on a page and it's it's really you know big margins and big print and so that should be a really easy read um uh, i i prefer the novel design that's that's my most preferred method of storytelling but the 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 scripts do provide a new avenue of storytelling that that allows them to do things in a different way this one is by George Mann. This is the f uh, one of the books in the f uh, phase two of the High Republic, and so I'm really, really looking forward to reading this book uh, when it comes out. The third and final new release book that I intend to read is the new Star Trek Strange New Worlds hardcover novel, uh, The High Country, by John Jackson Miller. Um, uh, this book, uh, which comes out in February, uh, is long awaited because ever since we knew we were getting a Strange New Worlds TV show, we've also pretty much known there would be a Strange New Worlds book line. And once it was announced, a lot of people were thinking, you know, John Jackson Miller, he should write a uh, the, the the novels for that because he already wrote a, a novel with these characters, The Enterprise War, which actually went over pretty well with the fandom. Not everyone loved it, but pretty much it, it did very well with the fandom. And it sold a lot of copies for a trade paperback. And so we were all excited. And then they announced it was going to be John and he was going to be releasing it in November of 2022. And then a month after the announcement release or announcement of the release date, they pushed it back three months. And so they said, nope, not November. It's coming out in February because of publishing issues, because of issues getting the paper, which I'm really curious about. But so now we've had to wait so extra long time. So now we're really waiting to see what happens with this book. I'm I'm interested because I've loved every single novel that John's ever turned in. I think he can't he doesn't write bad books. He he every book he turns in is great. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does with this one and seeing if it really catapults me into the Strange New Worlds line or whether it's just kind of a eh, I'll maybe I'll read if I like the author. So we'll see how much I like this book, whether how I like the line of books that they'll do. Um, hopefully it does well because we need more Star Trek books because they are publishing so few these days. It's crazy how few they're publishing. So those are the three new releases. Let's get to the uh, releases that are like old releases, but I have physical copies of these books that I can hold up. So uh, the first book I have is a science fiction novel called Live Free or Die by John Ringo. 
Um, this is published by Bain Publishing. Uh, this is the first in a trilogy. Uh, and from what I understand, it is um, like a kind of like an alien invasion uh, series, and it's about the the forces of Earth like fighting against the alien invasion. So I'm really interested in reading this book. It's in a nice mass market paperback, pretty decent size, about 500 pages. Um, uh, trying to expand out, read more science fiction, and also specifically trying to read more Bane books. And so I thought this was, an, this was a very interesting cover design. And I also thought this, when I read the premise, I thought it looked interesting. And I've read some interesting things about John Ringo. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see how I like it. So if I like it, I will for sure continue on with the rest of the, the series. I have books one, two, and three of this series, but I will for sure buy more John Ringo books if he hooks me as an author. The next book on my list for uh, the month of February is the Dune House Harkonnen novel. This is a chunker, a big, big, thick chunker. Now, uh, I read House of Atreides. It's, I technically read it at the end of December because I had a little bit extra time in the end of December. But uh, really, it was my January read, and so this is my February read. And um, I absolutely had a blast reading House Har- or House of Atreides. It was such a fun read. It was just a just like a fun adventure in the Dune universe. And so I'm very much ex- expecting Dune House Harkonnen to be a fun adventure in the Dune universe. Uh, Kevin J. Anderson, he just has a style that I like. His non-Dune books, his Star Wars books, his original novels, they all work for me. And even his Dune novels really work for me. And they're just a lot of fun to read. And I think that he and Brian Herbert do an excellent job of making the books accessible to new readers. And while at the same time, uh, making older readers have a lot of fun as well. So this is also on my list. The next book I have on my to-be-read list is a much, much shorter book. This is the Star Trek The Motion Picture um, novelization by Gene Roddenberry. Uh, you know, most of the Star Trek novelizations, you know, two through four were done by Vonda McIntyre, and five through ten were all done by... Um, uh, J.M. Dillard, and then they brought in Alan Dean Foster uh, for like the new movies and stuff. But uh, the original Star Trek movie got a novelization by Gene Roddenberry himself, uh, and which is ironic because the story uh, story treatment for this was written by Alan Dean Foster, who would go on to do novelizations later. So it's like a interesting reversal. Anyway, but um, this is a a novelization of the first movie. It's really short. I don't particularly love the first movie. I find it very slow and boring. It's, there's a reason they call it the sl- slow motion picture. But the novelizations have done a good job of making me appreciate the movie more so far. So I'm really intrigued to see how much I like uh, this book. So that's uh, my Star Trek book for February. I also have another really short book to balance out the really big books that I have. And this is Star Wars Delusions of Grandeur um, uh, by Kevin J. Anderson and Rebecca Mesta. So another Kevin J. Anderson novel on the list. Uh, I uh, have been reading through these books. Uh, the, I read the first six books in 2020 and then kind of took 2021 and 2022 off from reading them. And I'm kind of starting back up again. I actually did read these books about like 10 years ago when I was before I was even like a reader, like when I was like being forced to re- read by my family. And I was like, fine, if I'm going to read something, I'm going to do something I want to read, like Star Wars. And I had a blast reading these books. And I remember very little about them, but I do remember really enjoying them. And this is the next book on the list to read. Very excited to read it. Hopefully, it will live up to my memories and maybe even exceed them because the last books have been really entertaining. Next, we have the next book in the Defenders of Shannara book uh, trilogy uh, called The Darkling Child. I read the first book last month. Uh, it was uh, The High Druid's Blade. It was a very entertaining book, much smaller scale than Terry Brooks typically does with his novels. And I figured I may as well try this out and uh, uh, keep reading. And uh, so it's a very different series than I'm used to from him, but I'm still enjoying his writing style and just having a blast hanging out in his universe. Um, so this is my second uh, read or the second book in that trilogy. Next, I have another thick chunker of a book, and that is Destiny by Elizabeth Hayden. 
Um, this is the third book in the Rhapsody trilogy. You know, oh, you had Rhapsody, then Prophecy, then Destiny. And Rhapsody was one of my favorite books of 2022. In fact, it was my favorite fantasy novel of 2022. I was blown away by the book Rhapsody. Prophecy, it was, it was an okay book. It was, it was okay. But Rhapsody was amazing. And I, I, I went out and bought all the Rhapsody books uh, because I just, I just had to have them in, in my library and I wanted to keep reading. And this book, I, I, I read the write-up for it. It lo- looks like it has potential. I'm hoping that this will uh, stick the landing for this initial trilogy. I know there's more books, but I'm hoping that this will stick the landing for this trilogy. And just this cover is just a beautiful cover by Royo. Like, this is how you do epic fantasy covers. Um, uh, so I'm really excited to read this. It will be a book that takes me a long time to read because it is long. But I'm hoping I will enjoy the process. I think I think there's a good shot I will enjoy the process of reading this book. So this is uh, th- the third book in that trilogy. And then depending on how I feel, I might take several months off. Or if this re-energizes me, I might read the next one immediately. So we'll see how this goes. Next, I have Dave Wolverton's Beyond the Gate. Um, uh, this is the second book in his The Golden Queen trilogy with a beautiful kind of sci-fi cover. And not only is the front beautiful, look at the back. Oh, that back is just gorgeous. Uh, I'm currently, as I'm recording this video, reading the first book, and I'll have the review out when I'm done. And at the moment, it is an absolute blast. One of my favorite books of the year. It's it's science fiction that just rejuvenated my love of science fiction. It just re-energized me. And it's just, it's just so much fun. Like, it's just, that's, that's what I can't get, get, get behind it. It's just past it. It's so fun to read the, the, the Golden Queen. And so I'm hoping that Beyond the Gate keeps that magic. Sadly, we lost Dave Wolverton last year. Um, uh, and so we aren't getting more books from him. So it's great to get to experience books of his that have already been written that I've never gotten to read before. Um, and he's cementing himself as one of my favorite authors with this series. Between the Rune Lords, which is one of my top favorite fantasy series of all time, and also the Golden Queen series, which is, so far after book one, really, really doing it for me. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan now, and so I hope I will continue to love this series. And so it's kind of funny that I bookended this video first talking about the memorial anthology for him. He also go, went by the name David, David Farlin, uh, talking about the anthology for him that I intend to read, and then also uh, one of his novels that I intend to read. So that's an interesting bookend to this video. So those are the books that I intend to read in the month of February 2023. February is the shortest month of the year, so there's no guarantee that I'll read this much, but I've been on a pretty good reading spree, and if I am enjoying myself, I will for sure read a lot faster. So uh, hopefully I'll get to all of these. I actually think I could do more, but we'll see. Oh, this, is, this, is the, this is the bar currently, and then I'll raise it if I need to. But these are the books I intend to read in 2023. Uh, If you've read any of these, let me know your thoughts on them. And please subscribe to the channel for book reviews and rankings and interviews and all that type of stuff. But until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.